Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here, and welcome back to another crypto video. I would really appreciate it if you guys could press the like button and subscribe to show your support for the channel. It really does help out. And also guys, comment down below what your favorite coin is and what coin you'd like to talk about next. So today, we have a really interesting Ripple xrp update video a crypto news video i could also call it xrp yoda just tweeted anyone ever thought about the ndas with ripple or the other way around ripple made them sign ndas and this was really the tweet that kept me thinking throughout the day like what if yoda is correct what if he is saying is true what if we're all wrong or or have we ever why have we never thought about this you know that went through my mind all day today so i definitely think this deserves a little bit of a shout out so basically the idea is that right now there are many of the partners that ripple has that are unknown and one of the reasons we are thinking that so is because of signed ndas as of yet most of the theory came around to say that the bigger parties were not yet open for such statements in public surrounding cryptocurrency possibly, or a new partnership might stir up any controversy or negative stock, equity, whatever, might have brought results which of which they could not really know yet what the, uh, oh no, they, they might have been brought, I guess, changes or, or things could have happened which they could not have really expected or, or, or predicted. And that's what it might have signed in the A's. On the contrary, though, right now a popular opinion is coming up that it could have also been that Ripple was the one that said, hey, you know what? We can partner up, but we're going to sign a non-disclosure agreement first. So if you want to talk about it and, and raise your stock price, yeah, no, not happening until we want it, all right? Until we're ready, until we want to announce some more partners and whatnot. It could be. You know, it's actually not not even strange at all. It wouldn't come as a surprise if that was the case. The only bad part is we don't know because, of course, we're unless we are a party ourselves that's going to, I guess, sign up, we're not going to find out. But the idea, however, to me is is quite interesting. It's, uh, it's quite interesting. So an NDA, for the people that don't know, is a non-disclosure agreement, basically saying you can't talk about a certain thing, right? If you're going to work for any trading company, for example, you're going to have to sign an NDA. If you're going to work for any sales company, you're most likely going to sign an NDA. It would just mean you're not going to talk about their private stuff to other people, right? Or anything that they're doing inside the company or inside the agreement, for example, an agreement you made, maybe it could be a lot of different things which you would sign an NDA for. But in this case, it might be just the partnership itself, which they could not talk about. Jack the Rippler posted on Twitter, Boom! Game on! South Korean Parliament passes landmark crypto bill. It'll be a huge year for XRP. Enjoy the wild ride. And then there's two articles to open. The first one is that is added to the tweet about breaking. South Korea Parliament passes landmark crypto bill. And second of all is Ripple to significantly improve cross-border payments in South Korea. So the first one comes in today and says, In a dramatic turnout, the South Korean Parliament, the National Assembly, has voted in favor of the country's first crypto-specific legislation in the past few hours. The amended Special Financial Transactions Information Act, which was approved by a National Assembly Finance Committee in November last year, will effectively create a framework for the country's cryptocurrency industry. The South Korean cryptocurrency industry has reached positively, or reacted positively, to all of this news. Simon Kim, the CEO of Seoul-based blockchain incubator Hash.com, told Crypto News, or actually I don't know if it's Hash.com, but Hash the company, told Crypto News, there has been great uncertainty regarding regulations in cryptocurrency in South Korea until now. However, with the new law, cryptocurrency has been officially classified as an asset classed by the institutions and virtual asset operators are able to operate under proper law in Korea. I believe this is a strong, 
positive signal for South Korea moving forward and proving itself as the perfect test bed for blockchain and crypto on the global scene. Meanwhile, IT journalist Janet Cho told Crypto News, all of the big South Korean companies involved in blockchain have been championing this amendment and now they've got exactly what they wanted. The ball's now in their court, how they and other companies that have possibly been keeping their cryptocurrency plans secret react in the next few weeks and months will be very telling indeed. And keep this little part in mind right here. The ball is now in their court. How they and other companies that have possibly been keeping their cryptocurrency plans secret react in the next few weeks and months will be very telling. And uh, Mira Kim also said, this is great news. Okay, nobody will actually welcome taxes and regulations, but a lack of legitimacy is what was holding investors and big companies back. In a year, that will be gone. Now it's a fair fight against the conventional finance industry. Game on. All right, keep this part in mind, though. If we move into the next article, you can see right here, it's from like a couple, uh, like a week or so ago. Ripple to significantly improve cross-border payments in South Korea with these partnerships. Really makes me wonder if Ripple knew something before we did. Because really, a week ago, about a week ago, or a little bit more than a week ago, Ripple gets another couple of really cool partnerships, or at least they make an article and they, they come out for their partnerships with South Korea. And then a week later, South Korea changes their policy, or at least agrees to a lot and, and really has the game on right now because if you see it's it's already been going on since november but today right 10 20 utc was updated a couple of hours ago they have voted in favor a favor of the country's first crypto specific legislation and again it was uh or some some something was already improved back in november but now today it has been uh i guess passed or maybe i guess no i think this is actually uh, I think this is actually the correct situation. It could be that I'm, I'm reading it wrong. Maybe something is different, but I believe that this is uh, how it went. You can see here the vote and how it went on. But yeah, Ripple, San Francisco-based blockchain company Ripple has teamed up with three more remittance startups in South Korea. Three new partners solving a major problem. Well, we all know that. South Korea has close to 2 million immigrants that comprise blah, 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 blah. And... Um, some nice corridors between Philippines, Thailand, Japan, and other countries. SendB manages to save up to 95% in remittance fees by allowing its users to send payments to the aforementioned countries without opening a bank account. HanPass is considered to be one of the leaders in mobile remittances, while WireBarley boasts access to Australian and US markets. Those are the ones. Those are the ones, guys. And again, solving a major problem right there. We all know it. The South Korean remittance market has witnessed a rapid transformation after the government started offering remittance licenses to non-bank companies in 2017. Back in 2018, payment company Coin One Transfers successfully partnered with Ripple to roll out Cross for the first blockchain-based remittance product in South Korea. And with the addition of these new customers, Ripple is set to significantly improve the cross-border payment industry in the Asia-Pacific region. This all sounds so freaking good, guys. We're on such a big rolling, rolling snowball right now. XRP aims for new yearly highs despite mounting uncertainty. As Brad Dumps, XRP pumps. The controversy around Ripple is at an all-time high right now, I would say. So many people claiming that Ripple is only using XRP to make money. And of course, the complete opposite side of all the people pro-Ripple and pro-XRP. Well, of course, the, the controversy continuing on to unravel with the company incentivizing its partners to use its cross-border payment solutions, consequently flooding the token's market supply. Talking about MoneyGram in this case, being paid to use XRP, which I think is a good thing. Regardless of the fear, uncertainty, and doubt around this crypto, a renowned analyst believes that it could be bound for a substantial upswing. Compensating those who use Ripple's services, we all know about that. Uh, Ashish Birla actually replied and said, uh, as a reply to Coindesk, who said at first, payments from Ripple has given MoneyGram $11 million in the past half year on top of its existing stake, according to regulatory filings from the SEC. She said, always with the hysteria, first, Ripple and MGI, uh, which I guess is MoneyGram Inc. maybe, are strategic partners. We are building a new infrastructure together. 
This market development requires a ton of work, effort, and resources. Surprise, that costs money. And a little bit more of the story is in there, but you guys hopefully already get the idea. And uh, the second part is flooding the market with XRP. Well, I guess uh, they're just talking about XRP being sold by Ripple again, even though it's going down. And aiming for new yearly highs, Dave the Wave is expecting XRP to do really, really good. And it could trigger a 47% upswing is what he suggests. You can see the chart right here. At current, XRP appears to be forming the right shoulder of the bullish pattern, which suggests that a pullback to the neckline could take place very soon. A bullish impulse that allows this cryptocurrency to close above the neckline at around 33 cents could trigger a 47% upswing. XRP could then surge to around 49 cents if the inverse head and shoulder pattern is confirmed. 200 million XRP transactions spotted on Asia's top crypto exchange. Just noticed this, thought I should share it. XPL Monitor bot has detected 200 million XRP transacted between anonymous wallets. While well, a top crypto trader got paid in XRP and says it works fast. So 200 million XRP just move like that or move just like that. Large XRP fan expects institutional investors to step in and one investor is jumping off XRP. So some really big transactions in XRP were made, about 200 million XRP worth. And some people are trying to figure out a little bit about what's going on right there. Um, these were conducted between anonymous accounts. However, data provided by the BitThumb website, which specializes in XRP transactions, says that all the wallets involved are linked to OTC, BTC cryptocurrency exchanges. As it as his website states, currently this is the major OTC crypto exchange in Asia. And then, large XRP fan expects institutional investors to step in. Rob Art, or aka Robert Art, has shared on Twitter that they will be pumping in billions and when XRP reaches trillions in market cap, he believes, or what? I don't really get that, don't think this is important, but alright. Just recently when market cap was at 120 billion, that was nearly 60%. 1% of BlackRock's assets, 1%, uh, okay, or 60, no. Institutional investors will be pumping in billions. It will only be 1% to 20% of the capital and will result in XP reaching trillions of market cap. BlackRock alone has four or $7.4 trillion under management. 1% of that is $74 billion. That's 30% of the entire crypto market today, XRP. Okay, if you think about it like that, though, he is correct. <laughs> uh, honestly, he is really correct if you think about it like that. And then, uh, yeah, I guess billions of dollars will be pumping in. We all know that. And then one investor jumping off XRP. Do Yourself Investing said, I was really hyped about XRP and still am. But as of right now, I'm happy as could be. I decided to shift my portfolio at the new year. Moving into XTZ and Ethereum made me way more money. And then the Wolf of All Street says, Someone just paid me an XRP, so I must reiterate, it is fast. Yeah. That's a... Uh, wait. That's that's from March 4th, 2020. And then Stardust or Starbust said, the slowest database on the planet, uh, which to which the Wolf of Wall Street replied and said, I would also prefer that people not pay me an XRP. That's a little bit of con... Yeah, that's a little bit uh, contrarian, I guess. Maybe it's just because he doesn't like it too much, but he does want to say that it is really fast. But he didn't elaborate more on that, so I guess we cannot fetch too much from it. It's just interesting to see, I would say. Uh, I guess it's, it's kind of good, though, as he just showcases again that he did get XRP. I don't know for what type of payment, though. That's also kind of important. Ripple XRP approaches major inflection point as India reverses its crypto ban. So yeah, XRP could be doing really good is what some people are saying right now. All technical indicators convinced commentators that Ripple's XRP has taken a bullish path after the Supreme Court of India reversed a Bitcoin ban imposed by the Re Reserve Bank of the country. But uh, we already discussed this yesterday in a video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did not know about this whole India situation, check for one of my videos from yesterday. We discovered it all. We discussed it all. Make sure you check that out. Also, make sure you press the like button on this video if you enjoyed it or learned something new. Subscribe to support the channel and get notified every time I upload something new. And I'll see you guys again in another crypto video. Take care, everybody, and have a very, very nice.